Hello everyone, this is Darko2012 and I'll be reading an article titled Obama Copenhagen Paves Way for Action on Climate. Uh, this was published by Reuters on Saturday, December 19th, 2009. Um, President Barack Obama on Saturday defended an international climate accord reached in Cop Copenhagen as an, quote, important breakthrough, but stressed that it was only a step towards curbing global carbon emissions. For the first time in history, all the world's major economies have come together to accept the responsibility to take action on the threat of climate change, Obama said in a statement after returning from the Danish capital overnight. United Nations climate talks ended with a bare minimum agreement that fell well short of the conference's original goals after prolonged negotiations failed to paper over differences between rich nations and developing world. Obama, who brokered an accord at the last moment with China, India, Brazil, and South Africa to avoid coming home empty-handed, acknowledged that talks had been tough. Quote, after extremely difficult in complex negotiations, this important breakthrough laid the foundation for international action in the years to come, he said, speaking from a snowbound White House as a winter storm blanketed Washington. Going forward, we are going to have to build on momentum that we established in Copenhagen to ensure that international action to significantly reduce emissions is sustained and sufficient over the time, Obama said. In other, t in other words, we need to make sure that we totally um, deconstruct whatever is left of our um, of uh, the U.S. economy. We need to do that immediately. Critics complain the explicit deal struck in Copenhagen to limit global warming to two degrees Celsius provided no details on how this goal would be reached, and the emission cuts that were promised would be insufficient to get there. And uh, this is just a copy of the Copenhagen Accord, as they're calling it, um, the actual text that um, was going around to the various nations that were involved with COP15. And um, if you look down here, you know, this is their goal. They didn't exactly have it set in stone. So that's when they said they fell short, that's what they mean. They didn't exactly sign anything, but they did. So I don't know. But it says here, uh, we agree that deep cuts in global, this is number two, we agree that deep cuts in global emissions are required according to science and is documented by the IPCC fourth assessment report with a view to reduce global emissions by 50% in 2050 below 1990 levels taking into account the right to equitable access to atmospheric space. So... And then um, going back to the actual article, it says critics complain, I was just reading before, critics complain the explicit deal struck in Copenhagen to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius, um, provided no details on how this goal would be reached. That's because when you look in, there, in, the, in the article that I was just in, it says, you know, to reduce emissions to Y percent and X percent. So Obama has staked significant political capital in pressing for climate change in Copenhagen while simultaneously pushing for health care reform back home, and he must contend with an increasingly climate-skeptical American public. So what they're referring to is the, um, the recent move uh, by the EPA to declare s carbon dioxide um, an element that is vital to um, life on this planet as a toxic waste and a poison. So um, while Obama's running around bowing to foreign dignitaries against um, U.S. policy, um, rallying for an international globalist um, carbon scheme, trading scheme, uh, redistribu redistribution of wealth scheme um, that his own people don't even want, um, he's passing, you know, he's allowing um, his, you know, federal agencies, the federal EPA, to to declare um, CO2 a, a toxic waste. So he's just he's just moving forward like uh, all the other globalists with this um, cap and trade scheme, even though this country isn't even for it. So I'm I'm very I'm really curious as to who this man really answers to because he doesn't answer to us. 
Um, moving on here, a Washington Post ABC News opinion poll published on Friday found 45% of those surveyed approved of his handling of global warming, down from 54% in June and 61% in April. So they even admit here that the majority of Americans don't even agree with the global warming theory. Obama's broader approval ratings have also dipped as Americans contend with double-digit unemployment as the economy recovers from its worst recession in 70 years, and he sought on Saturday to link job creation with his climate policies. Um, yeah, like war is peace, you know, um, basically um, forcing all of our manufacturing and our energy companies to have to pay more in order to operate is only going to force them to pass the costs on to the consumers. So um, I don't see that that really helps Americans who are going, you know, becoming more and more unemployed and, and whatnot, how oh, that's going to help them. But he's pushing for it, and he's, he's doing it for you. At home, that means continuing our efforts to build a clean energy economy that has the potential to create millions of new jobs and new industries. If America leads in developing clean energy, we will lead in growing our economy and putting our people back to work, which, um, yeah, that one, so that's it. Obama, Copenhagen paves way for action on climate. Um, thanks for checking this out.